we're back. Just hoping we see the black swans. Are we back, everybody? <laughs> it's a bit of a choppy reception out here, Trenton Gardens Lake. It's just so random. I've walked around here before and it's been fine. Let's get a few of uh, few glitch days. Yeah, uh, well, it's obviously when you're walking and talking, you forget, but I've learned a new thing now. It's obviously sometimes people don't give you a message. And uh, what you have to do is just look at the, the settings where you share your broadcast. And you can see if like the clock's ticking in like a live, in like a live fashion. And when I just looked after you said, it just says like it stopped recording about, it's only recording about three and a half minutes. So that's just a little tip that I try and remind myself to check if you're worried about the uh, reception. I said I just, uh, it's awkward because I'm trying to show you the black swans and uh, you have to come around the lake to see the black swans. And that's all I come around for really. Oh, I can see them there. If you haven't seen any black swans, I can see them now in the distance. Because you have to live halfway around the water, so you have to come around to see the black swans. Right. Right, get your messages in while I've got a signal. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right, who's that? Hello, Tonya. Any of you new viewers, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Everything's Chase the Who. Twitter, Haps, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. It's all Chase the Who the same. Obviously, I'm not sure which platform we're going to move over to, but uh, I'll do a few test scopes in the coming week, I think, on some different platforms. I can do YouTube live streaming if you follow me on YouTube. Chase the Who. I can live stream on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Haps. I'll have to try and find the one that uh, I'll try and play with and see which one's best. Here's the black swan, everybody. Let's see how to the black swan. <laughs> no canals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no canals today. This is Trenton Gardens. It's like a big lake you can walk around, if you can see. I have scoped here before, if you check out replays, I have been here before. But I've got a pass, so I just come every day, you have to pay to get in. So I'll just make, it a, make the most of a, a, a crispy uh, winter walk while it's not raining. There's a black swan. Come on, black swan, you're on periscope. Show your face. <laughs> come and have a walk with us. Oh, I see some new faces, who's that there? Who's that? Hello, Tanya. Yeah, I know. It's just the thing, as you see, if you look at my, uh, if you look at my name, it says I've been a member of Periscope for five years, but I haven't been doing it for five years. Uh, it might look like I'm an expert, but uh, I basically did a few scopes when it started. Uh, when your scopes didn't used to get saved, so I just sort of lost interest. I had a little bit of a, a little bit of fun on it, and then I just lost interest, and then. Uh, I only put it back on in lockdown for something to do. I was doing a lot of walks, and there was nice walks like this. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll try and start periscoping again. And I've been periscoping for about six months now. Just getting used to the app, and then it's decided to close. <laughs> There's a black swan for you. Just keep moving, we might see some more. As soon as you uh, they're always on the bank, really. I thought they'd be in the water. Because I've got some proper bird food, so... If we see any. I said it's a bit of a weird transition now, because you're seeing like uh, a lot more followers and different faces. Trying to make sure everybody knows you're on other platforms. Mine's quite easy, because luckily I, I've always tried to put my periscopes on YouTube anyway, because I do save all my periscopes and put them on my YouTube, so... That's an easier way for you to watch them as well if they're on YouTube. But, uh, I've just been doing a lot of test scopes and uh, oh yeah, that's another one. Doing a lot of test scopes on different networks and find the best one for uh, 
for periscoping because I, I, I live in a sort of semi-rural location, so, yeah. I need a, a network that's good for filming things in the countryside. Let's feed the birds. <laughs> I've got stuff that floats on the water, but they're all out of the water at the moment. Yeah. It's a black and the black swan. Nice to see some new faces in. So it's been a while since I've. Uh, nice to see some uh, new faces now. The uh, the app the app's been announced, but uh, I'm glad I just have everything on Jace the Who. So I just put Google in and uh, just Jace the Who in in Google, everything will come up. And. Uh, yeah, it'll give me the opportunity to save all my replays anyway, so. There's an option on the phone where you can save all your replays in HD. I mean, they call it HD, but it's only 480p, it's not 720. But it's obviously, it's clear enough for your phone. And obviously I try and save them where I can. Obviously I'll show some things, I have scoped here before, I'll show some things people haven't been here before. If you want, look it up on Google, at the Trenton Estate. It's a... Uh, it's a big tourist attraction in the northwest of England. If you've heard of the uh, the Monkey Forest, so you can see that's the main road to Stafford over there. I live in Stoke-on-Trent, which is this is the Trent River it passes through. Obviously, uh, if you keep giving me some comments, emojis, or hearts, or anything, because we have a little bit of a, a bit of a connection issue sometimes around this lake. But if you wish to me the recordings i've got over 300 now and they're always uh, they're all interesting visiting historical places or canal walks or nature or feeding the birds or feeding the swans and the ducks it's just obviously i'm always reliant on connection because i'm never <laughs> all the nice things are always away from the town centers where the strong signal is so enjoy the nice sound of water from the overspill at the back of the the lake Thanks for the hearts, everybody. Nice to see some, uh, oh yeah, there's a fish. So if you stay with me, there's lots of things to show you. I walk around this lake and then uh, there's like a fairy trail you can go on. Oh, there's another black swan there, there we go. That's the other one, oh, there's the other swan there. I took the train to Great Malvern Station, I'll check the map to see where you are, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think the location's on the map and everything, you'll be able to see where I am. There's a fish. So you just have to get your timing right because uh, the last entry to the park in the winter is 3 o'clock, so 3 p.m. Because uh, obviously they, they want you to leave by 4 p.m. But if I, I'll be here till 4 p.m. and you'll see it getting a bit darker. And then I'll, hopefully they've got the lights on because they, they, this year they're trying to do a, um, allowing you to walk around in the dark and light, lighting all the way like so you can walk around in the night time. And last time I come they were all switched on and got a little bit of a flavour of it. You know it wasn't pitch black but you could get a little bit of a flavour. So you've got to imagine this used to be somebody's uh, private garden sister about 100 years ago. You know it's a nice sound of water going into the River Trent. It's a lake emptying out into the River Trent. Hopefully the signal's okay. Let's just give you a little view of the water. I bought a Reliant Rialto and drove to Southampton. <laughs> Yeah, I say I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I've just done what's the best option. I say I've got all the options available. I can I can start streaming on any of the platforms. I just have to give them a few test scopes. And obviously, I've done it. I won't make sure everybody's following me on the other platforms. I'll probably get no viewers. So uh, I mean, I've got only 800 viewers on 800 uh, subscribers on you know, uh, followers on Periscope, and I'm just uh, I have to keep pushing the other platforms and. Uh, 
make sure we've got a few viewers because I know YouTube will be in HD but uh, I've got plenty of data now so I can start. I never used to do YouTube because it uh, uses a lot of data because it tries to do high definition on YouTube. That's a nice sound of water. Just realised I've still got my mask on, and I'm probably a bit muffled. <laughs> Go up to date with comments. Good morning from Florida. Hello. Hello, Andrea. Hello, good morning, Indian. Hello, hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, cause <laughs> once you've announced the uh, the platform closing, I feel like I'm getting new viewers on in there. It's great. So, get some new faces in. I'm just at Trenton Gardens for anybody who hasn't seen this scope before. This is the back of the lake where there's a water runoff. This is basically somebody's private land about 100 years ago. They had a big, a bit like Downton Abbey. They had like a big house. And then he said, he said, I want you to build me a big lake. And this has all been man-made, all this, uh, what you see. That's the River Trent. I live in Stoke-on-Trent, that's the River Trent. This is the overflow at the back of the water. I've just shown you some black swans. I might have a few uh, might have a few um, uh, signal issues around here. It's obviously semi-rural, so. Uh, if you look at the replays, we've got over 300 replays. I've been around here before and it's been successful, so. <laughs> I'm quite an expert on networks and uh, connections and everything, so. Well, I haven't sort of scoped all year round. This is my first. I started at the beginning of lockdown, so. I thought I'd just try and keep scoping for 12 months and uh, see the difference in the, the nature and the flora and the fauna. And uh, I just tried all the networks. I think I'll settle on EE, I think. So everyone's got its faults, but uh, I've had a lot of success with this one, so it seems the best coverage. Yeah, I would say anybody who's an expert <laughs> with apps, which is best, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't tried any other apps, but uh, I've just done Periscope. For six months. Oh, that's another black swan. I've done periscope and then uh, obviously I've seen a few of the I've seen a few of the, the OG people getting over to that HAPS app. It just seems a bit uh, the screen looks a bit wild, the HAPS app. Yeah the HAPS screen looks a bit uh, a bit crazy. But, uh, I'll just keep doing periscope for a while anyway. Hello. Let's feed the swans. There you are, there's a black swan for you. There you are. Let's feed the black swans, if anybody hasn't seen a black swan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say I'm just trying not like sink in yet about its clothes. You know, just, prefer, just used to you. I'm, not used, I'm just used to periscope, you know. I don't want to think about using something else. Hey, up here's the ducks. Let's feed the ducks. Yeah, where are they? Yeah. I'll just feed. I've always got bird food with me. We'll just feed the birds where we can. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching a few of those Haps broadcasts. They seem a bit choppy and everything, but uh, anyway, we'll just enjoy this scope anyway. Let's try and get a nice nature scope done. Oh yeah, the black swan's coming back. <laughs> yeah, I've only seen them when I come here. I know there's a lot of men in Australia. Black swans. Go on, go in the water. Yeah. Let's try and get them in the water. I've got food that floats, you see, on the top of the water. I've got these pallets. It's designed for floating on the water. It's a deluxe animal food for them. They don't like it giving them bread. Yeah. I don't plan my scopes, I just sort of look at the weather. Yeah, you know, that's, that's the British weather where I am in the northwest of England, near to Manchester. Got a little bit of blue sky. It's one of them days where you need an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I learned from my cost yesterday. I was sort of, uh, it's like a drowned rat yesterday. I thought I'd go for a walk for an hour, I don't need an umbrella, and then I just got the timing wrong. <laughs> and then you always say to yourself, never again, never go out when it's. <laughs> Unless it's a blue sky, but it was blue sky when I got off, when I was just getting ready to come out, and it just changes. So, 
all the fun of scoping in the England. All right, let's carry on the walk. Let's carry on the walk. So it usually takes you about an hour going around this lake uh, without stopping, so I don't want to scope beyond too long. But basically, you have to come up here to see them black swans, I'll show you. You only see them black swans if you walk all the way around the lake. So right, we're at the back of the lake now. Yeah. I know, it used to be a saying, you can never blame the weather, you just you just haven't got the right clothing. That's what they used to say. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a, uh, a food place at the back, South Jetty. There's basically a canoe club over there. Where they, you, do, you do see them on the canoe boats. Got a little cafe at the back. So obviously it's just running on like a skeleton staff at the moment. Obviously there's a lot of things that, are, that aren't running at the moment. There's the fairies. We're always trying to look for fairies. There's like a trail you can go around. There's one of the fairies. Uh, sculptured Wire, I think it's called, if you Google it. There's a chap called Sculpt Sculptured Wire, I think, something like that. We just put Trenton Garden Fairies in. And they keep adding, they keep adding like extra, uh, extra fairies. And uh, I think it's called Sculptured Wire and you can buy kits. And he keeps adding a new angel. And it's like a... Uh, there's like a path you can go on, like a like a, a map. You have to try and find all the angels. I always miss a few of them. I think I know where they all are now. Right, so we're going back to the other side of the lake now. Hopefully the reception's okay. Showing you the black that's all I come around for, the black swans mainly. But uh, there's different routes you can go on. You can hug the uh, you can go around the lake and hug the lake or you can go off into the woods. I'll just depend on if there's any if get any viewers in and then I'll take you the take you around the back of the park where you can get better views. We might see some sheep. Apparently there's uh, I say it's I don't know how many acres it is, I think it's about thirty five acres, I think this place it's massive. You can walk around the lake. And then there's a monkey forest. If you look up Trenton Monkey Forest you can visit there where it's like a hundred and fifty macaque monkeys just wandering around. Not behind bars, you can visit there. And uh, the locker, we might, be, might see somebody on there rowing the boat. Because obviously, in a normal, in a normal, um, in a no if you visited normally, you obviously can go on a you can go on a boat cruise, have a railway running, and uh, lots more to show you. But, uh, it's nice for somewhere we can visit. Get some fresh air. It's nice and crispy today. I wish the sun was out, it makes it a little bit warmer. I see a little bit of blue sky, it's trying to stay dry for us, so yeah, there's no chance of a scope yesterday, it was just uh, constantly raining. Right, lots of funny comments. I say I've got the call in feature on if anybody new wants to pop in and say hello. I'm used to Darby and Angel and Tilly coming on. Any any new viewers in? Seen a few new comments. Yes, uh, I haven't spoke to Tonya. I think so. Tonya's new. I do have a few people who phone their mommy scopes. I'm always after new people. That's a black swan over there. But, uh, yeah, this is what you get in England. It's just every day is different weather. I usually call it four seasons in one day. You always have to come out with a coat and an umbrella. <laughs> can start the day sunny and then obviously be raining by the afternoon. But because I've been trying to get a lot of sunset scopes, I'm quite an expert on what the weather's doing. And uh, you see it normally uh, normally picks up when it's sunset time. I saw it last night, even though bad it rained, where I normally get my sunset. You can see all the dark clouds and there's just a little slit in the distance where you could just see a little bit of yellow sun. Hi. And you think it's always there, it's just hiding behind all these uh, behind all these clouds. Let's hope we can hear some bird sounds. It's quite quiet today. But I say I'll I'll just miss I have to just my scoping schedule to come here because the 
they close at 4 p.m. because obviously they've got no lighting around the lake so they're just the winter opening and the summer they open a bit later. I think the monkey forest behind that fence I think. I was hoping there wasn't be too many people here. It's just a timed entry, try not to get too busy. Right, let's look for comments. I'm usually <laughs> usually getting no comments. Let's have a look. Do you like wearing dark glasses? Okay. When the sun's shining. Okay, Tonya. Monkeys can be aggressive animals. Yes. Yeah. I said when you walk around there, they, obviously you're allowed to they just wander around in front of you. I think they've all been. They aren't. Uh, I don't know if there's been any incidents. It's just somewhere nice to, to go. I've never heard of any incidents since it's been open. That's a bird. Oh. Yeah, it's always a bit. It's always a bit random when you come here. What you're going to see? So, you see squirrels and ducks and black swans and there's a bird up there. Yeah, it's just that much to look at when you're on a nature scope. <laughs> trying to not miss any comments and uh, trying to look around for showing you things. That's what you find with all mine, I like nature scopes. Walks and they're feeding the birds, nature scopes. Daily exercise. Obviously, where possible, I'll show you more museums and historical things, but nothing's open at the moment. It's just uh, outdoor walks at the moment and takeaway. You know that uh, that uh, three-month crow is. Did you know that a three-month crow is smarter than adult chimpanzee? Yeah. Hello, Chris. Roland's in. Yay. Curl egg twenty-two. Hello. Welcome to any new viewers. Nice to see some new new viewers. Today's walk is Trentham Gardens. Just walk a walk around the lake, and then show you the Italian gardens. A few nice sounds of, a very nice sound of water. Just hope it comes across okay. That's what I'll probably do, you see, because I'm on YouTube. I'll, it's, when you try and show your nature, it's nice to be in high definition and make sure it's, uh, it's clear. So, uh, with me being a bit limited to time, what I normally do is probably walk around and HD it on YouTube and then try and do a periscope and not just rely on the, uh, the periscope. The, uh, I need to ask Santa for a gimbal so I can uh, I can start doing all my widescreen scopes. That's a little woodland area. Yeah, so you, I've come here before and you always seem to see something different. Here, yeah, different animals, black swans, ducks, geese. So they used to have call-ins when I'm uh, walking around Trent and we have call-ins, it makes the time go better. It makes you cover a lot more ground. I've done like three and a half hour scopes when I've had call-ins. <laughs> Just keep on walking for miles. You've got to be conscious of your, your battery, try and keep it to about an hour. Uh, I think that's about the cut off about an hour, but uh, I've walked halfway around before I scope, so we'll just see how we go. You keep giving me feedback on the pictures, okay? And uh, we'll just keep scoping. Got a spare battery if we need it. Right, let's see if I missed any more comments. Yeah, so I just thought I'd start putting my link in about my other, you know, just I've already registered on HAPS and you've channel on YouTube. And HAPS, and uh, I'm not sure which, which platform I'm going to use. So uh, just make sure you follow me on all the socials. And uh, I'll start doing a few test scopes. A bit push for time in the UK when it's going darker to 4 pm. Try and get everything done. Try to uh, try those new apps. Yeah, it's unusual where Darby and uh, Lisa are. You can have them on my scopes. Get all the regulars coming in. So there's loads of places I want to show you. I mean, I, uh, I only keep repeating the places because everywhere's closed. But, uh, I've got a big pile of places I want to visit. 
They're all closed. There's Gladstone Pottery Museum, there's Biddulph Grange. I live in the out by a lot of stately homes. Like what's on Downton Abbey, houses like that you can visit. I was going to do wonders, I thought it would all been there. We'd all be back to normal by now, but uh, just have to postpone that now. And obviously I've got three months of periscope, so hopefully the, all these restrictions won't be on for three months. And then uh, I can get some good periscope stuff done. So obviously we're just up in the, in the hands of the gods at the moment, so to speak. Because I think the, uh, the government are having an announcement about what tiers we're in, I think, today. So I think we're just going to, I think we're all going to, well, we're in tier three at the moment anyway. So can't get any worse unless, <laughs> I say, unless there's like some countries where they, they probably do another level of tiers where you can't leave your house if it gets that bad. <laughs> Perhaps it'll get that bad, but we'll see. I'm sure allowed to do exercise anyway. All the retail's open on all the tiers anyway, so yeah, that's some crows. Yes, it's a, it's a good surface, yeah, you can jog all the way around. Yeah, it's not so much a road, it's like, well, they do have vehicles that drive around. Uh, you might see one passes in a minute. They have like golf buggies. And obviously with the set with the place closing at four they usually go around with a golf buggy and uh, round everybody up if there's any stragglers yeah it's a good surface for running it's like an all-weather surface i said there's some places i can go and i'll be pulling my shoes off it'll be that muddy it can get really bogged down so it's a nice all-weather path any time of year but, uh, yeah, so everything I tend to show you nice is always away from city centres, so uh, you're never sure about the quality. So I wouldn't usually be here this early, but it's just the time schedule. Got to, it won't let you in after three o'clock, so it's better in the summer when I usually like to visit a, visit the town, do a few, do a bit of shopping and then do a scope on the way back. But uh, it's just a trying to fit it all in in the winter months and yeah, these are the two paths you can go on if you can make up that it looks like a dragon like the body of a dragon there's the tail and the head <laughs> it's like a big dragon made out of uh, sticks yeah. all right let's have a look any comments or messages? Do people in England get colds frequently? I don't know. I mean, I said I'm, I, I was uh, I was like a drowned rat yesterday, but uh, I don't feel too bad. But, uh, if you uh, if you I say if I think how many times I mean you say it's like a rainy country. Uh, I mean, that's why we're nice and green, you know, like Ireland and Scotland. And we do get a lot of rain. That makes us all nice and green. But uh, I've noticed the weather's changing. I mean, I know some some places like 100 years ago, they, like somewhere called Rudyard Lake, and it used to be frozen. And people used to ice skate on it in the winters, used to have proper winters, where lakes used to freeze. I so said we haven't had snow for about five years. Apart from like about, you know, five minutes of snow and then it goes. Not like some of these scopers I've been watching where it's like New York at the moment. I think it's all under snow. Right, this is your choice of paths. You have to turn left at the mushrooms. I said last time I come, I walked the other way around. I don't know if that'll make the reception better. I came the opposite way around. They do, they do like you to do like a one-way system for when it gets busy. I think they preempt to people, there's going to be a lot of people, so this is the way you're supposed to walk around, but I felt like a change last week and I, I came the other way. And uh, I did have a call in when it worked all the way around, so I don't know if that keeps the signal locked on when you have call-ins. You can't believe you're like about half a mile from a, a busy road. 
Yeah, if you listen carefully, you can hear our M our motorway, like our M6, it's called the motorway, like a freeway. It's just over them trees. The main artery of the UK, like a main road. You can get the top speed. It's only about, oh, there's another, there's another ferry. You have to find them all, they're all hidden. Yeah, I was just going over all my scopes I've done. I think the oldest one was six months ago. And uh, I might have a little clear out of some of them because they're quite, I started on Android and the quality's a bit ropey on some of them when I did them on Android. I just saw a squirrel in the distance. This is the back of the park now, we should get a better signal out. Yeah, I see a squirrel there. This is squirrel in the distance. <laughs> That's how I usually go part of one of the one of the many Victorian parks I've got called Longton. Longton Park and uh, so you find some squirrels they just don't come to you and some are very tame. And in that park some of them will come and take it out of your hand. It's just obviously you see the different uh, must be used to seeing people. Uh, so if you rattle a bag of uh, if you rattle a bag of nuts in that part, they just <laughs> surround you. If you can uh, appreciate all the nature around at the moment, we're just getting higher and higher up now. I should feel a little bit less out of breath because I've been doing this quite a lot now, so I think my fitness is getting better. Just going around the back of the park. Let's just have a second. Get a breath back, show you all the autumn trees, lots of trees. That's the path we've just come up. We're just moving away from the lake, but uh, we will get a nice view of the lake a bit further up. I can't believe this used to be somebody's old private private estate. I think it's called the Duke of Sutherland. And they used to own quite a lot of land in England hundreds of years ago. I think it's uh, there's lots of history if you want to look it up. Uh, I mean, one near me I'd like to visit, like a big stately home, it's called Shrugborough. That's about 20 miles away. It's a similar to this where you just uh, that's one that hasn't been demolished where you can go visit. A bit like if you know Downton Abbey, those big houses, there's loads of them in England, and there's one about 20 miles away I can visit. And uh, obviously this is the local one that's, uh, I think it was basically going to, it was uh, neglected, neglected and they just passed it over to the council, the local council to uh, do something with it and they demolished it. So we've basically got all the, uh, we've got all the parkland and some of the old buildings, some of the old buildings, but the, uh, the main house was demolished about a hundred years ago. And that's obviously the other side of the park that we can have a look at later. Sometimes I feel like a tour guide where I go because it doesn't... I go a walk where there's loads of information for you to, to tell you. That's why I'm always uh, missing the screen sometimes. Because I'm busy enjoying the scenery like you are and uh, just keep an eye on the comments. Oh, connection. Yeah, the connection symbols just come up. Hang on, let's just check connection. I keep having a connection error coming up now and again. Let's just check I've got a signal. So I don't want the scope to be on too long because I want to save them to the camera roll. I think I'm okay up to about an hour. Here's like a, here's like a sort of house at the back. Looks like in the style of about the 30s. I think this is where the, the game's now that we see the person in charge of the, all this land used to live. The style looks about, uh, about 100 years old, like a, a random house at the back of the park. Yeah, it's such a big place, I said you can't really, uh, you feel like you're on your own, it's such a big place. You can just hear the sound of traffic in the distance. And if you can hear it, it's just very faint. It's basically behind all those woods, it's like a big main road. I was hoping we'd see some sheep. I'm always, uh, 
I've come the long way. Hope I'd see some black swans for you. See you now. And uh, uh, see some sheep. So it goes all the way up there. You can see there's a cattle grid. Uh, this is a cattle grid. If that exists in other countries, it just stops the animals going out. Right. Are you still with me? Be right back. I checked my scopes. It's only three years worth on my first. Yeah, I mean, I think I said, I don't know how long it was that they never used to save the scopes. Because I see some people who've got like, I think I've seen people with about two and a half thousand scopes. And uh, obviously I know some people have been scoping every day for five years, nearly six years. And, uh, when I found uh, Adam Yaffe, I tried to go through his scopes and yeah. It's not like YouTube, you know, when you try and go through all the... I wish it was easy to go through like YouTube, so... You can scroll back easier and go back to all the old videos. But I think Periscope seems like a... It's like a spur of the moment thing when you're watching people. Uh, and obviously that's why I think a lot of people have gone over to YouTube or used to use Periscope. Uh, to do a lot of live streaming on YouTube now. But you're always relying on a signal if you're live streaming, which is always a... An issue I've discovered, and uh, trying to enjoy the nice scene that we're in there. Uh, obviously, making sure you've got a connection. But, uh, I've visited about thirty places now, and uh, I've got a little, uh, got a little mixture of places you can revisit. But uh, I like visiting new places. Once I've scoped them, I have to try and visit somewhere else. So, uh, I think I was lucky last time, because they had a... Oh, I can see some lights over there. I think they have, like, um, the lights, what they had. I think they were testing them. So, I, last time I came here, if you look at my scope from uh, about a week ago, uh, I was trying to get a ticket for this night event, and uh, it was sold out. But when I came in, the, the engineers were still here, turning all the lights on testing them so I did get a little bit of an overview because I think it should be dark by four o'clock. Uh, let's have a little spin round. Yeah I usually see sheep in this field. It's so weird there's no but the there's not many people about. Yeah, you can go all around the lake walk or you can come down this down this road. But uh, I was trying to find you some sheep. I've got some sheep on my older scope. Uh, realise what a massive place it is. That's all the lake down there. We've still got a signal. Hello Marcus, Marco. Uh, I said I did just have a little red bar coming up about signal. Let me just check, I've still got a connection. I might have to restart if it's not live. Yeah, I think it's come to an end. I'll just restart the scope because I think it's uh, I think I've lost connection. See you on the next one. I'll just restart now. <laughs>